So now we have our uh, basic uh, base units for our uh, counter uh, kitchen uh, laid out. Uh, here's our refrigerator. I'm going to come down here and turn on fine detail so we can see a little bit more detail, uh, like the handles to the uh, dishwasher here. Uh, here's the uh, trash compactor that we're using as an ice machine uh, and uh, the sliding drawer for our um, uh, trash cans. Uh, and then this base unit, notice that it's something's wrong with it. It's not facing the right direction. So I'm going to go back in here real quick and go into my floor plan. And let's turn this around, rotate it 180 degrees. Make sure we're, we're not. Uh, yeah. And we'll move out. Oh. We didn't rotate it exactly 180 degrees. So I'm going to rotate again. Uh, it's hitting those. It's snapping. Uh, and I need snap on. There we go. That's what I want to do. And then flip it. And then it flipped it the wrong direction. So I'm going to just move that from here to there. Now, if I go back into my elevation, now I can see my drawer. Uh, the other thing is, is that uh, I think I want the cabinet to open on the other side. And the cabinets are set up with these little controls uh, from the plan view. So I can flip the door, uh, the hand of the door, by clicking on that. And if I go back, now the, the door is going to open from this side. Uh, of course, uh, this uh, V-shape right here, uh, where it connects, that always means that that's the hinge side, and this is the operating side. So my cabinets look uh, pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is add countertop to the top of this uh, and put this filler in uh, that I need right here, and then add the uh, end wall down here that I'm going to put my... Uh, cabinetry too. So let's uh, let's put the countertop in first. Let's go in down in here and to do that I'm going to use uh, just a component, an architecture uh, mass component model in place. Okay, And I'm going to call it a casework component since it's going to be the countertop to this and I'm just going to call this countertop. <clears throat> And uh, it's going to start from the finished floor, and uh, we're going to extrude up from that. So once again, I find it easier just to put things in, and then we'll work from there. Um, but I want to do it by rectangle. We're going to start at, remember the top of our cabinet is uh, 34 and a half inches up from the floor. The other thing that we need to remember is that our floor has an extra three quarters of an inch of terrazzo on it. So finished floor, uh, our cabinets are sitting three quarters of an inch above. Okay. So uh, uh, the finished floor, you can see the work plane right here. Okay. So this is, means that this is going to be, instead of 34, st instead of starting at 34 and a half, it's going to start at 35. And... Oh, let's just put it in and we'll we'll jack 34.5. I'll just put it in and show you how to adjust it. It's easier than doing all the math. Oop, 34 feet. No, we don't want that. 34.5 inches. And then it's going to go up to 36 inches right here. Now remember, this is unfortunately being uh, done in front of that, but we'll it'll work. I'll show you. So we're going to put the countertop in here. Okay. Now, countertops usually aren't the width of the cabinets, which are 24 inches. They hang over in the front. So what I'm going to do is modify this uh, and change it to 2 foot and 1 or 25.5 inches. Point five. So 2 foot. 
one and a half inches and it'll be out in that direction and then I'm going to accept that and so now I have the countertop uh, but I'm going to go into my elevation and when I go in my elevation I can see that it's too far down because it should be three quarter inch up from there okay so to do that what I'm going to do is just uh, move this till it's at the top of the cabinet, snaps to the top of the cabinet, and which I'm going to just go ahead and lock. And then this sh should be up from that. I want that to be one and a half inches. So 12B. This would be, uh, so one to that would be three feet and a half an inch to that would be three quarters. So, whoops. So now I have my uh, cabinet, my cabinet in here. The next thing I want to do is put in that feeler. Oh, I got to finish the model. Okay. So now I've got my cabinet top up here. Of course, I can come in here and I can edit this type and I can change the finish by adding material to it. If I wanted to, so if I want to add granite or, or you know, white countertop or whatever, uh, I could do that. Uh, and then, and then I'm going to add a uh, filler in here, and that's in the cabinet family. So I'm going to go caseworks again, uh, and let's see where the filler is right there. Okay, and I'm going to just uh, Pull that filler over into the floor plan, and you can see it looks something like that. And I'm going to fill it in right here. Okay. And let's check my elevation right there. And you'll notice that it's the it's the height of a base. Okay. So it's 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 not the appropriate height. So I'm going to tab onto it till I get a hold of it and if I go into edit type I'll see that it's only uh, 34 and a half inches tall and I really need it to be seven feet tall so what I'm going to do is duplicate it and we'll call this uh, tall cabinet filler tall cabinet filler and then just so that I know that it's seven feet tall, I'm going to put uh, 84 inches there. And we'll change the height to 84 inches. Whoop, 84 feet. It's going to be a little tall. And we'll say OK. And now it fills that space. Okay. The next thing I want to do is add that wall to the end of this right there. So I'm going to go back here and uh, I'm going to use just a standard partition wall here. So I'm just going to select this wall, uh, which is a standard, you know, uh, three and a half inch stud. Uh, so I'm going to say uh, create similar. And then I'm just going to, right now, I'm just going to go boom and come out here, probably what, three feet. And then I'm going to join this to that. And we'll lock that there. And I can play with that. You know, if I go back into my perspective, uh, Let's go back into our 3D views here and back into our camera view. Oops. And, uh, you know, I could bring that out. I'd probably want to bring that out so that it was at the same length as uh, that. And to do that, uh, probably the easiest thing it would do would be go ceiling plans, go to the first floor ceiling plan. And so that I can look at that wall and also then see the ceiling grid. And I'm just going to pull that out till it clicks to the ceiling grid. 
and that way it'll it'll line up with the ceiling grid. Uh, we can close that out now. And yeah, the next thing I'm going to do uh, in the next video is add to then uh, the wall the wall hanging cabinets. Uh,